You can't over trade if you don't know how to trade. It's not possible. You're not making money anyway. So you over trading is doing nothing but give you experience, which is good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one feels like Christmas come early. I'm gonna do my five things that I think beginner Forex traders do wrong. And this can carry on into if you've been trading a little while as well. And especially if you've been trading a little while. So number one is really simple. And it's probably my biggest one. And that is trying to get perfect entries. I don't understand why everyone tries to get perfect entries, especially when you're a beginner trader. You're not making any money it's not going to make a difference. The only thing it's going to do is make you marry that trade even more. Because as soon as you've got that perfect entry, all you want to do is put FX in your name on Instagram and screenshot that. And even if the trade goes wrong, at least you've screenshotted your perfect entry. Perfect entries are so bad for your psychology when you're a beginner. Trying to get a perfect entry when you're not actually getting the direction right, you're not getting the liquidity right, you're not putting your stop losses in the right place, you're not managing your accounts properly, your risk isn't calculated, there's no point. And I say all those things because I see so many people that focus on trying to get a perfect entry and even people that have been in the group that have come to me and said guys how can i perfect this entry it should be the last thing you think about a perfect entry is something that you develop over time it's something you develop when you've already got your strategy and you've already got the way that you trade sorted you've already got market direction sorted and you've already got your take profit sorted and you know that, that trade that you're in has a high probability of going to target and then you can start implementing a perfect entry the second one Another massive one, I see so many people with tight stops. And I don't know where this comes from. I think it comes from some of these strategic SMCs and ICTs and BLTs and fucking stuff. You shouldn't need tight stops. Tight stops are not gonna save you. If anything, that's a loss. A tight stop is gonna be a loss quick. All a tight stop is doing is leaving you stressed because as soon as the trade starts moving, oh my God, it's so close to my stop. <laughs> no. Forget that, you should have your risk calculated so that you can have a breathable stop. Widen those stops, understand your risk, and understand where the market has to move to. There's so many times that, that you get a trade right, the target right, the direction right, and your tight stop will take you out because the market hasn't finished getting the wrong people out of the market first. Price always has to get the wrong people out of the market first. You may be in the right way, but you might just get caught in the crossfire and you might be collateral damage. Tight stops will not save you from not knowing what you're doing. They will not save you from not knowing direction, liquidity, and how you should be trading in total. So the first thing you should be doing is figuring all that out, and then you can figure out how you can shorten your risk with your stops. Apart from that, it's just gambling and it's not gonna help. Number three, and probably the most important one so far, probably the one that is most common, and that is changing strategies. All people do is change strategies. That is how Forex traders seem to go on over the years. Every year is a different strategy. Some people every six months is a different strategy. And you're wondering why you can't master a certain way of trading. You don't feel comfortable a certain way of trading. You're not used to a certain way of trading. You are just lost with your trading because you're having three different strategies. I call them strategies and that's a loose term. But you've got three different strategies that you're using coming into your head when you're thinking about a trade. Ah, oh, but this is an order block and, and this is a, a, a liquidity grab and uh, this is a, uh, it's just too much. You need to focus on one strategy and that strategy should be the market. I will do another video on this because I have to get it out. Everybody says to me, what strategy do you trade? Do you trade SMC? Do you trade ICT? Why does everybody assume that you have to trade one of these cultist big block strategies but the bottom line of it is stop changing strategies all the time stop following this person's strategy and that person's strategy expecting to be profitable this very happily leads me on to my next point stop following the wrong people's trades the people on instagram that are trying to get perfect entries the people that are posting profits the people that are posting trades after they're not posting before they're posting on their stories with covered lot sizes and halfway to target and then you never hear anything about it again stop following these people's trades please when you do find someone that has something that's clearly working screenshot that shit look between the lines of that shit go and mark it up on a chart and try and figure out what they're seeing use the right trades from the right traders to understand what you're doing that being said even when you do find these good traders and the people that you can see are clearly making money they're clearly doing well but like i always post on my stories befores way before the afters way before the traders even come clean I post the befores, the trade happens, then I post the after. That's if I post on my story, of course. If you find these people, copy what they're doing onto a chart, read through it, have a look and dissect it. Doesn't mean you have to copy their strategy, doesn't mean you have to follow everything they're doing, but if they're winning a trade, try and figure out why. The other thing is, 
If you are following those people that are good traders, don't copy their trades when they take them unless you're taking every single trade they take, which is impossible because they're not going to post every trade anyway. Stop copying their trades. Good traders can be wrong. Not even the greatest traders in the world are right every time. Everybody loses, everybody makes mistakes, everybody gets it wrong, and it's all part of their account management or their risk strategy, and it may not fall through into yours when you're copying those trades. The fourth thing is something that is obvious. It's really, really obvious, and every single one of you knows it, but stop trying to rush and make money. When you're trying to make money, quick is the worst psychology you could have for trading. You wanna take more trades, you wanna take more profit, you don't wanna lose as much, you're scared of risk, you'll have those tight and stops because you don't want to lose, you'll be copying people's trades because you want to win. This ties in with everything. The money will come, you have to focus on the trade. If you're not focusing on the trade that you're on, you're not going to win it. When you're trading an account, it doesn't matter if it's a funded account or a personal account, an investor account, you should always focus on the trade that you're taking. And I've said this to people in the group, focus on the trade you're taking have your risk in the back of your head of what that account size is. Forget about the account. The same principle applies to trying to make money. Forget about trying to make money. Forget about buying a Lambo. Forget about all this shit when you're trading. You can go off at the evening, write your little mood boards, do whatever the fuck you want. Sit there and dream about Lamborghinis and holidays. And Again, the only thing thinking about your account is gonna do is make you worry, make you marry that trade, make you have tighter stops, make you risk less. You're gonna be scared of losing, you're gonna to wanna to win more. If anything, when you buy a funded account, you should always have enough to buy another one anyway, so that the idea of losing that one doesn't sit over your head the whole time. The whole thing is just bad for psychology and it ends up really bad, 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 bad. The last point is something I've talked about a little bit on podcasts. I've talked about it on my podcast with Will, I think, and I talked about it with Riz, I think, as well, and that is chart time. Stop listening to people that are telling you to do less chart time. To be on the charts less, you don't have to sit in front of the charts, blah, blah, blah. Stop over trading, all this stuff. You can't over trade if you don't know how to trade. It's not possible. You're not making money anyway. So you over trading is doing nothing but give you experience which is good. Believe it or not, experience is good. The more losing you do early on, the more experience you have witnessing trades play out, taking those losses, feeling those wins, managing those emotions and understanding those emotions, dealing with those emotions. All of those things are gonna to contribute to you being a better trader in the future. Early on, you must, must, must have chart time. When you get further down the line, you will develop into having less chart time. You will develop into your strategy like we were saying earlier, and you will then start to learn when you can be off the chart when you can be on the charts, when you can have alerts on, when you can take a day off, when you've hit your target for the week, which is a questionable one. The point being, you should be on the charts all the time until you are very, very comfortable trading. Even when you're confident in trading, you should still be on the charts for a while, settling that in. Please, please, please stop listening to people that are telling you that less chart time is better until you are profitable, until you are down the line at the beginning and for certainly a good portion of your trading journey, you should be on the charts a lot, all the time. It is the only thing you should be doing. As I said, the more you see a trade play out, the more you see a certain price action happen in front of your eyes, the more it will be ingrained into you, the more you will understand it, and the more you will be able to react to it better in the future. Less chart time is not a thing at the beginning. Further down the line, fine. Anyway, so that is it for now. That is all I've got. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments and I'll do more of these. Anybody that used to follow my Instagram knows that I love a rant, so this was brilliant fun for me. Um, and all of these points are things that I've gone over with people in the Telegram group, advice that I've given to people over the years, things that I've seen people struggle with, and it's coming from genuine experience. So it's good for me to share it and I'm happy to share it. For now, that's it. There's an E8 discount in the description. Go and use that if you want to save some money. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Don't trade like morons. Use your brain and I'll see you soon.